Hey, PC Gamer Dad here with a video for a new series. I'm going to be calling First 10 Under 5. Maybe First 15 Under 5, depends on um, how this goes. So, And the, uh, the length of time might vary per game, depending on how much I'm enjoying it or whatnot. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the first 10 minutes of a game that's under $5 on Steam to kind of see what's up with um, the smaller end games, the cheaper games, the indie games, um, all different kind of games that are under $5 on Steam. You may have heard of them, you may have not heard of them. I'm hoping actually that you haven't heard of them so you can check out the first 10 minutes and see whether or not it'd be something that you'd want to play. Um, and so this first one that I'm doing is called One Finger Death Punch. It has um, overwhelmingly positive reviews on Steam, so it's going to be no surprise um, if, it's, it's, if it's fun and addictive. So um, let's jump right in and see what it's about. Levels or survival. Okay, so the graphics and stuff on the video for the introduction made it look like it's kind of just stick figures fighting, but this doesn't look like stick figures to me, but we'll see. Um, so these uh, levels are not unlocked yet, so let's just start at the beginning. Okay, next level of play. Let's do it. Every press, every press matters, button mashing will kill you. Okay. This is interesting. You cannot move in this game. Wait for enemies to enter the zone. All right, got it. There we go. The enemy has entered the zone. Notice how the gray enemies take one hit. Gray enemies, one hit. Got it. Okay. Oh, Press I gotta hit this check mark every time. Now to attack this okay. Enemy. Your mouse cursor can be anywhere on the screen. Mouse cursor. Yeah, mouse cursor. Okay. Wait for enemies to approach Super. you. Fight using only the left and right mouse buttons. Yeah, this is kind of fun. Pretty simple. I'm sure it'll get more complex. Maybe drops, power ups, that kind of stuff. It looks like you can make it go faster. If you want it to go faster. Oh, it looks like I have them. I have them. Press the left or right mouse button to advance to the next round. So. Zone, you will see the Let's left kick some or right zone see what's light up. up when you are able to attack. Remember, your cursor can be anywhere on the screen. Kill streak ten. All right, let's make it faster. Let's see what happens here. Try not to miss. Sometimes with the timing of this, it's hard to tell which one's going to come first, the left or the right. Stage complete. Alright. Well, so far so good. Uh, it's a very simplistic game, left, right, mouse button. Uh, you gotta kick the dude who's coming to the left or the right. Um, Alright. So I guess if you miss, if you get hit... Alright, alright. Hold your horses. I'm commentating here, mister. Uh, so it looks like... Um, Zoom. Okay, so no kind of indication yet whether or not there's going to be kind of some kind of power ups or something like that. I might have to get to some kind of like this is uh, how many men you need to kill. This is your life. Some plateau stage or something like that. Where I can set power ups or something like that, or increase my health or something like that. That's cool. That's nice. So far, so good. Oh, that's kind of cool. That dude just got to up. And now I have a weapon. That's kind of cool. Oh, the weapon only lasts for two strikes. So I don't know if that's going to be a thing. All throwing weapons kill in one hit. Good to know. Press the left or right mouse button to go. You grab that's throwing cool. weapons off enemies that So it looks like you kind of just like advance as far as what you're able to do as you go along. There might not be like a stage where you can select your power or something like that. Victory. It might just 
you kind of with a medal if you miss less than 10 comes times. as it comes you know as far as getting new abilities um, and that kind of stuff oh sorry so let's see what the next level has to play oh I can zoom out here on our map I don't know if I can't move the map but let's move on to the next one here um, so far so good so far I haven't been hit yet I'm unbeaten speed at 118% so it seems to be there's more and more dudes showing up here though we'll just keep on getting faster yes the left and right mouse buttons in the combat zone buttons move slowly in this zone all right I'm not really sure what that means but I guess we'll see Oh, okay. So it has a certain configuration that expects me to do as far as hitting this the guy that has a crown on. Some brawlers require you to press the left and the right mouse button. So it's a it's a certain sequence like a combo that you have to hit with the dudes that have the crowns on. So that's easy enough. Once you engage a brawler, you must defeat him before fighting other enemies. Cool. That's kind of fun. So as the dudes keep coming, oh, it looks like I'm getting more, and more skill too. I'm jumping up in the air. And it looks like it's counting down the number of dudes left here at the top of the screen. So, this game is fun. I mean, like I said, it had overwhelming positive reviews on Steam. I wasn't expecting it to be a total piece of shit. I uh, wasn't really expecting anything at all. I literally just downloaded this like 30 seconds before I started playing it, so I've never played this before in my life. Um, it seems pretty cool. I mean, I don't know what kind of depth we have here. So I'm only, I'm only playing the beginning. Oh. So we're getting more complex here. We got oh, guys that take two hits. And that was my first hit. Oh, now I'm kind of getting my ass handed to me a little bit, so. That's cool. <laughs> Flying eyeball. The guys that take two hits are making it a little more interesting, a little more complicated. So, I wonder actually how far it goes. Use to take like 15 hits or something like that. No. Oh, that was amazing. So I'm getting misses and that kind of stuff now. It's getting uh, progressively more difficult. Um, I may be em embarrassing myself here. It could be... It might be that this is super, super bad. Oh, seriously, a fucking lightsaber? That sucks. <laughs> this is like... Borderline copyright infringement. You remote. Destroy your enemies by pressing the left or right mouse buttons. But I don't care. Because that's cool. You gotta love the epic sound in the background. The singing chorus. Take your time. Fight him slowly. Look at the left and right mouse buttons moving down the screen. Dang, that was always hard. He must have been a boss or something. Gold medal. Gold medal. All right. That's awesome. Ooh, now we get a choice. So it looks like we got either maybe daggers or arrows. So let's play one more of these and see see how it goes. The enemies' hits are indicated below them. Oh! Dang, son! I'm sucking it up in this one. You really have to start paying attention to how many dudes come on your side. Last 
enemy seven times before time runs out to achieve complete dominance. Victory! Wow. Okay. A new skill unlocked. Every dagger comes with two additional daggers. Cool. Somewhere to throw three daggers now instead of one. So it looks like as you keep going on, you keep getting upgrades and that kind of stuff. Um, like I said, I still don't know what kind of depth there is to to the story. I mean, I don't know how far this map goes and how many levels and stuff there are. It looks like there's quite a few upgrades and skills and stuff that you can get here. This is a grid of um, 7x3, so this is at least 21 different skills that you can get um, as you're going along, I guess. Each skill, so each equipped skill will become active while playing a stage once you kill a certain amount of enemies. For example, the three dagger skill activates after you kill one enemy. When one enemy is killed, your skill will become active and will be ready to use. Once active, the skill will work on its own. For example, the three daggers skill for example. once active <laughs> will allow you to throw three daggers instead of <laughs> your usual funny. one. All skills are passive and will work according to their description. Once the skill is used, the kill so the, the game is just reset, ridiculous. And like, you will need it's to absurd. kill all enemies in order to the use the skill again. The stick figures skills can be used fighting multiple times on a stage, especially with the skills awesome with a lower the kill requirement. Note that there are certain stages like boss rounds giving narration. and speed rounds that don't speed allow you to use skills. Rounds. I can see myself sinking, you know, another couple ten hours or something under this, at least like finishing the game. Um, so I think I failed to mention at the beginning, but this game is four ninety nine on Steam, so it comes in right under the mark for the five dollars. Um, and I think it's totally worth it. It's totally. I mean, I feel like I've made, got my money worth just in this first ten minutes. I mean, it's absurd. It's awesome. It's good fun. Um, it's a reaction time type of game. Um, you know, it's just the left and mouse trigger. There's not a whole lot of complexity to it, but it does look like there's a skill um, tree cut type of thing, um, and then there's a, a map. Um, So, you know, how far this map goes out, it looks like it goes out quite a ways. So there's lots, um, lots of levels and stuff, so um, I would say this is totally worth five bucks. I mean, it seems ridiculous and it seems crazy, but um, I, got, I think I got it on sale on Steam. Um, but that's not to say that, you know, it isn't worth the, the full five dollars that they're asking. So um, I definitely recommend you check it out. Um, I don't really have a whole lot more to say about it, I don't think, but um, if you liked the video, get, hit the like button. If you um, have any comments or anything down below about uh, the game, um, if you played the game and you know some more of the end game stuff and you'd like to um, comment um, to other people about, um, oh, you get this cool thing at this cool level or at this level and you get this cool thing later on and it's totally worth it at the end because of X, Y, and Z, uh, feel free to comment down below. Um, make sure to subscribe. This is going to be the first of many, many videos where I'm going to be going over the first 10 minutes of games that are under 5 bucks to see if they're worth it for you. So um, make sure to subscribe and check out um, more videos coming up on the channel. Uh, for now, this is PC Gamer Dad signing off. Peace.